my love. You're giving me uh, every. Ah, uh, you're giving me life. You're amazing. From the minute you step on the stage to the minute you step on the red carpet, you bring the craziest energy. You bring that superstar energy. And even Jennifer said she's like, it's not something that I could teach you. You just have that God gift, God's gift, basically. Let's talk about when Jennifer said that. When the, that exact moment happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of like in that moment you don't know what's happening, mm -hmm. but to hear her say that's kind of like, wow, and she never ceases to amaze me. Like the stuff that she says on TV, the fact that you can't teach this, and the fact it's like I'm learning from you, we're learning from you. It's amazing to hear my coach, mm -hmm. Grammy Award winning, Oscar winner say this about me, and to come from the being in the bottom last week to be here and feeling really great about my performance, it, it's amazing. I wanted to show, you know, that I was listening to not only my coaches, but definitely America, you know, I wanted to show that I could do iconic female songs, but still tackle an iconic male song and make it right. myself. You know, so I definitely kept that in mind. Um, and I think it was a good uh, performance. I'm so happy with it. I thought you slayed it. I can't believe we're about to be, what, a few days away yes. from the finale. Like, it's about to be over. I mean, but it's, a, it's, it's just, it's an ending to new beginnings, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's, that's the most exciting part. I'm excited to see what's going to happen for everybody, not just myself after this mm -hmm. point. And, you know, no matter what happens tomorrow, you know, go home or stay, I could leave here knowing that I put my best foot forward since the beginning and that the fans have been supportive since the beginning. And with the performance tonight, I left, you know, with the world knowing who Dave One is as a performer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I believe that. <laughs> Let's talk about what kind of record you want to do after the show. Mm -hmm. What type of album are you going to put out? What are you thinking? I would love to definitely do a, a pop soul record. You know, the pop being the upbeat and stuff because it's popular, it's current. But the soul, I think no matter what I sing, you're going to feel my soul and hear my soul in it. Uh, I would love to be like the male Whitney Houston. I know I say that all the time, but I'm dead serious. Like the fact that she was able to do movies and still do music and be successful at both and talk about her faith and still be pleasing to the gospel industry side. That's exactly what I want to do. I want to appeal to everybody and inspire everybody, not just one type of person, but all people. Well, I mean, now that you have Jennifer Hudson's phone number, I'm yeah. sure she might be able to help you out with that in Hollywood. I mean, I do be FaceTiming her like all the time, no getting her nerves, but yeah. Are you going to FaceTime Jennifer after the show? I mean, whether I'm allowed or not, I'm going to FaceTime her. She's my coach. She said, now forever, you'll always be team J her production so I'm definitely using her number if she hasn't already got something in store for me <laughs> I'm sure she has other opportunities for you I'm sure she has uh, like in her mind she's such a creative I'm sure she has ideas already I would like love and hope and pray that that's the case um, either way she stuck with me for the rest of my life and her life so yeah <laughs> I mean last season Alicia Keys signed Chris yeah so I'm thinking this might be a similar situation with you I'm with it like sign me I would not say no I would say absolutely yes absolutely yes a thousand times <laughs> I love you